We're actually uh, utilizing the neuroplasticity model. And this is, of course, a model that the brain can change. Uh, if the brain couldn't change, um, there wouldn't be a good reason for them to come through our program. But fortunately, every human brain has the capacity to dramatically change. And the previous scientific consensus uh, a couple of decades ago was that the brain develops during a critical period in early childhood and then remains relatively unchanged or static. But now we know that the brain has the ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections for until what age? It's actually throughout life. And so the brain has that ability to uh, change uh, significantly. Neuroplasticity enables people to recover from stroke, injury, birth abnormalities, overcome autism, ADD, ADHD, learning disabilities, and other brain deficits. But the neuroplastic model also helps people to pull out of depression, anxiety disorders, addictions, reverse obsessive compulsive patterns, overcome PTSD, we could go on and on with the list. So what can change the brain? Neuroplasticity is a term referring to the ability of your brain to reorganize itself both physically and functionally throughout your life due to primarily four attributes. What can change your brain is the environment, your behavior, your thinking, and your emotions. And of course, this is why we center in on these four aspects of things when people actually go through our program. Now, the good news is you're not stuck with the brain you're born with. That's what neuroplasticity tells us. But there's some bad news about neuroplasticity, and that is the brain can also change for the worse. To change the brain for the better, however, requires turning the positive neuroplasticity switches on. And those circumstances include focused attention, determination, there's hard work required, maintaining overall brain health, including feeding the brain through good nutrition that we're going to talk about today. The brain does need to have some health attributes there in order to be able to change it for the better. Methods of positively changing the brain, enhancing frontal lobe function. When people come through our program, we are doing a number of things from a number of different angles to particularly improve this motivational part of the brain. The frontal lobe aspect, that of course is where willpower is centered, and it's also the analytical part of the brain and the spiritual part of the brain. Other ways that we um, turn on those positive neuroplasticity switches is through physical exercise. It turns out, uh, and I think it was, was it last year we had John Rattay here from Harvard, I believe so, um, and uh, John Rattay um, who was voted last year the number one psychiatrist uh, by Mass um, General, uh, stated very clearly that physical exercise is actually better for our brain than it is our body, and gave some overwhelming evidence of that. Most people go into physical fitness in order to really help their bodies, but their brains are really changing as well for the better. Working with your hands. One of the aspects of working with your hands in three dimensions repetitively is that it improves the circulation of the front part of the brain. And so uh, we actually have a class that we teach here at Weimar Institute. In fact, I, I teach this freshman class called Optimize Your Brain. And half of their scores are based on doing habits on a daily basis that will be part of brain optimization. And uh, so that means they might not, um, you know, utilize their dishwasher, um, you know, for washing their dishes. Uh, actually washing their dishes in three dimensions can actually be helpful for their brain. And so they have to spend so many minutes a day working on doing three-dimensional activity as well as aerobic physical activity to enhance their brain. Chronotherapy has been shown to be helpful. There's a lot in the scientific literature if you want to look up in regards to chronotherapy with neuroimmunology. This is light therapy, particularly in the morning, and nutrition as well.